Good morning, friends. It's Nancy. So, uh, I'm having a great week. <laughs> I hope everybody else is having a great week. I received a little package from my crafty crush, Catherine, from Sunnyside Journals. It's funny because Friday she had mailed this package, and then Saturday morning I'm like, hey, I'm coming to see you. And she, she said, oh, well, I could have handed you this parcel instead of sending it if I'd known. <laughs> but it didn't take long to come at all. It was here in my mailbox on Monday. And right away as I unpacked it, I noticed that it was an homage to my ginger cat. My very bad, naughty ginger cat who woke me up at 4 o'clock this morning. Um, so inside this box, and I tried to keep things packaged the way she had, but I'm useless. Um, but everything was all gorgeous and beautiful and wrapped up in this um, huge chunk of fabric that has uh, all of these botanical uh, um, images. And it's just gorgeous. So thank you so much for that, Catherine. I'm going to have fun chopping that up. Um, there was also another hunk of fabric. Uh, but this is the same one that you gave me on Saturday, Catherine. Are you sure you meant to give all of this house fabric away to me? Um, I'm going to put this on the shelf. If you want it back, you let me know. Because um, I couldn't have left you very much if you if you sent me all of that plus gave me a whole big chunk on Saturday anyway inside the box what's that? what's an angel? <laughs> inside the box was this adorable book with a pair of ginger cats on it and uh, it's in excellent condition it doesn't look like anybody ever read it um, and there's a, a page here. It says Nancy. <laughs> I must be going on a trip. <laughs> um, I don't know if there was a date on this. Uh, yeah. 1970. And it, it, there's cat pictures in it. Welcome to Marmalade Manor. <laughs> Looks like that cat's playing maracas. <laughs> anyway, that's going to be fun. Um, there was also this, this piece of fabric. Probably would have been a panel to make a, uh, a pillow, a cushion. With a great big fat marmalade cat. Kind of looks like my marmalade cat, but you need to add about 20 pounds. No, he's not that big. But he, he weighs he weighs about 22 pounds, and he is ginormous. Um, and here's another little orange cat inside a boot. Isn't that cute? And it was uh, drawn by an Ontario artist. That's adorable. And then there's these little playing pieces. It's, it looks like it's dominoes. Yeah. Um with these little orange kittens and a holly hobby with an orange kitten it says I like you I like you too Catherine <laughs> here's an, another orange kitty and I was thrilled when I saw these because I know that you had these in a haul twice I was hoping you would send me some of these, uh, these Royal Ontario Museum, um, Ontario Nest Records. I'm going to dye those up and have fun with them. I don't, I've never seen these. B&W Gift Catalog. So this must be sort of like, uh, you know, grocery store stamps or something. No, tobacco. Tobacco. Brown and Williamson Premium Plan. These are fun. 
and I love this color. Um, so I'll be looking forward to using those. And here's those great cards. I love this little uh, Edwardian lady. She's holding an orange kitty and skating. How can you skate with a cat? That's just crazy. This lady just walking in the park with a cat with a dog. Those are cute. And then I looked at this, and it says the Gibson House, and that's my cat's name is Gibson. Isn't that funny? <laughs> so I'll have to go look for the Gibson House. There's the address. Um, next time I'm in Toronto. It's a living museum and art gallery. Um, and here's this teeny tiny little cookie cutter that's a cat. Isn't that adorable? This this was, um, there was ribbon wrapped around the whole package and this was on top. And here's a little picture of kitties. Merry, a happy new year to you. I thought it was Merry Christmas. Nope, happy new year. Sad kitty spilled the cream. These are new to me. I've never seen these before. They are do doilies, but they're um, they're paper, and they're all. It says there's four each of three different designs of holly. I have never seen those before. From Hallmark, and um, she sent one. Put a little note. Said that I was on Santa's nice list. <laughs> And I don't know if uh, in any um, if you caught uh, the video where uh, Catherine got a, a scrapbook and it was all full of these little die cuts that she had to soak off and preserve. But they're just really cute. Um, whoops. Here's the bunnies. There's the pig. I'm glad I have the pig. I want to do a pig journal. I put that pig right there. And the lion. And there's lots of little angels. There's a little. And they're embossed too, right? Uh, there's a little. Elf, I guess he's a little elf hiding behind a tree. So these are really, really cute. Here's Red Riding Hood. Something wrong with that kid. She doesn't know that that's her, not her grandmother. Something wrong with that kid. So, um, so that was lots of fun. Thank you so much, Catherine. Oh. oh no, sorry. Um, and then uh, yesterday, yesterday was another awesome day. I uh, went out for breakfast with a former colleague and friend. Not former friend, she remains a friend. And uh, when I got to work, there was a package for me at the office. And this was from Michelle. So Michelle had contacted me. She was telling me about this awesome vintage quilt that she rescued, literally res rescued. And I said I'd love to see photos of it. So she sent me some photos on Instagram. And it was like nothing I'd ever seen. The batting that was in the quilt was actually pieces of clothing. So I, I was really interested to see that. I'm really interested in quilts. Um, can I come up with a different word than interested? <laughs> so Michelle said, oh, I'd like to send you a little piece of the rescued quilt. And I said, oh, I'd love to have it. And then this beautiful pizza box showed up. And I mean, even the paper is wonderful. It says it's from Paper Chase and it's got all kinds of art sort of things on it. So. I was at work when I opened this and all of the girls at work came running around to see what what it was I had. So the the pattern that this is is called um, 
a bow tie and it's got some old calicos so these are some old calicos and then on the other side on or in this other row which I thought was wonderful are all these different plaids one of our clerks is Nigerian and she got super excited when these these plaids showed up and she says I think those are Nigerian fabrics <laughs> and and she said in Nigeria these types of plaid fabrics men wear sort of as not not a skirt but maybe like a, a sarong I'm not sure there's probably a better word for it um, and she said it's very very valuable fabric uh, I'm guessing that the quilter who made this, um, these were shirts that maybe their husbands or sons wore to rags. Um, so I'm pretty sure they're not Nigerian, but she was excited to see them. So uh, I just want you to know that that, that uh, really brightened her day and gave her memories of home as well. So I was thrilled to see that. And then on top of it, oh, this was on top. Um, I tried to keep this the, in the same manner that it, Michelle sent it, but I didn't do very good. So on this piece of paper, pinned with a little bulb pin, which I'm going to take off before I rip. is this little stocking that she had a note in for me and the note said um, that she also made a craft advent calendar so every day I get to open a little package so the girls at work they're going through all the packages trying to find one two three and four because it was the fourth of December <laughs> Michelle you went to so much work. Oh, and this gray rickrack was wrapped around um, the, the quilt piece. I have never seen gray rickrack. That is amazing. That is going in a project. Um, so we opened up one, two, three, and four, and there's these beautiful little handmade items that, that Michelle made for me. So this I think this is a napkin that's been decoupaged on top of music to make a little pocket. Isn't that cute? And then it has these little pieces of note paper in it. I think that was four. I gotta put that back in there so I can remember. Make sure I do these in order. And three, I had these adorable little die cuts. The dresses. <laughs> uh, and our, our um, law clerk was super excited about these. She, um, her mother is a, is a is a costume maker. She actually works in the film industry making costumes um, for movies and stuff. And this is um, pattern paper. Oh, she was excited about this. Is this pattern paper? I said, yeah, that's pattern paper. <laughs> and she said, I loved paper dolls when I was a kid. I make. Um, paper dolls and if their little tabs came off then I'd have to um, get my grandmother to glue them back together and these little die cuts are cute too so I've already got an idea what I'm gonna do with these so that was three I think yep that was three and two I have never had anything like this these are amazing and she sent me a whole bunch of these 15 cent tickets. Thank you very much. I love this kind of stuff. That's, that'll go into my stash. I don't know if I'll use all those right away. And number one was these really cute die cuts. And they might be all sprinkled in here too because I kind of got a little crazy with them. And they're all little locks and keys. Whoops. Made out of silver card. Whoops. <laughs> And then sp sprinkle inside all the packages. Yeah, I definitely spilled these all over the place a couple times. 
I'm going to find more and more of them, was um, these crocheted, they're taped in there so that they would lay all in the right way. These crocheted snowflakes, and they've been stiffened with starch. Aren't they beautiful? So, um, oh, that feels fun. <laughs> So I'll have to find number five. I don't have my helpers here today to help me sort through all of them. <laughs> anyway, I thought this was a really creative idea and obviously a lot of work because you handmade all of these little envelopes. And uh, a lot of thought and work went into this. I could just, I'm really, really, I, I'm really lucky. Let's just put it that way. So thank you so much, Michelle. I hope you don't mind that I'm doing this video. Um, there's number five. <laughs> uh, anyway, I just I'm just blown away with just how creative this this is. The way you had it all wrapped up and. And even the address on the front of the box, you had alternating red and green. <laughs> that was a good day to go to work yesterday, let me tell you. Um, I've not done any crafting this week at all. Oh, super busy getting ready for things at work. Um, seeing a lot of clients this week. So when I come home at night, I just flop and become a complete couch potato. Um, and I, I, I came down here this morning to do this video, and I had I did some tea dyeing on the weekend. Uh, I, I had this Christmas card album that I uh, Christmas card list booklet that I tore apart and tea dyed on Sunday, and um, and I did these tea, these uh, library cards as well. And I came down this morning, and these envelopes were still hanging on my drying rack since Sunday. And so that tells me I've not been down in the basement since Sunday. So I have to get my stuff put away so I can do some crafting. I need to do some crafting, that's for sure. So th thanks so much for watching this video, and we will talk to you again soon.